I use these AI tools to boost my sales in Shopify up to 10 times and at the same time spend even less time managing my Shopify. And right now I'm going to show you a few tools and ways to use them so that you could earn way more in way less time. So let's imagine we're running a Shopify dropshipping store that sells a collectible Robocop figurine. What would be your first step after creating a Shopify page? Well, photos, of course. You can't sell a product without photos. Normally you just order a product, wait for the delivery and snap if you pick senior or living room. But this way, no matter how diligently you're gonna approach the design of your web page, it will look sloppy and amateur simply because of the photos. We all know the presentation rules. And if you want to sell stuff, you gotta present it correctly. Professional photo shoots can be quite costly, so I have an alternative for you that I use, Photoshoot AI. With Photoshoot AI, all you need is a photo of your product without a background. Once you have that, do what I do. Upload the file and scroll through a list of styles. Unlike other image generators, this tool allows you to just replicate any environment that you like. It can be something simple or complex, abstract or realistic. The list of examples is really long and with some trial and error, you will be able to easily create a great photo shoot for your product. If nothing suits you, you can even upload your own photo to replicate. This way, if you're selling multiple items on Shopify, you can have all of them in the same style. Okay, you've selected the style. Now what? Now you just like this video for the YouTube algorithm and like or dislike the general photos, just like you would like people on dating apps. The concept here is the same. For each style, you can go through as many variants as you want until you find the right one. And all images that you like will be available for download by clicking on this button up top. What I like about Photoshoot AI is the affordability. Every user can download up to 40 pictures for free, which is more than enough for any dropshipping store you can make. So with this tool, a lengthy and costly chore becomes an easy and fast activity you almost never notice. In just two minutes, you can go from zero photos to 40 professional looking photos completely for free. Okay, now we save time and money on photos or products. What next? How about some titles and descriptions? When it comes to selling, photos are not enough. People will also read anything you type and based on the whole picture, decide whether they need your product. So you should really focus on creating an interesting, understandable and persuasive copy for your Shopify website. Yet once again, coming up with the text manual is not that easy. To make things easier, use Copy AI. This tool is my favorite one for generating selling copy right now. It's super easy to work with and it even has a few features that ChatGPT doesn't have, at least not without plugins. So what do I like about Copy AI? One, it's super user-friendly. Two, the results are great. And three, it's super affordable. But let's not turn this into an ad. How to save time and money with Copy AI? Well, just type in a prompt. I will just ask it to generate SEO optimized title and description for that Robocop figurine. Okay, the first version is not bad, but I want it a bit more persuasive. Okay, that's better, but the language now is too official. Let's make it simpler. And nice, that's what I'm talking about. Now we have a title and description for the product page. But most pages also have a list of features. Copy AI can do that too. Just uh, ask for it and voila, here's the list of main features and reasons to buy our figurine. I must say it's quite creative in describing the figurine and kind of makes me want to buy one. Well, that seems like the end, right? No, Copy AI has a few more tricks up its sleeve. It can imitate a brand voice of your choosing. Let's say I want my text to sound like apples. I will just copy the text from the website and go to brand voice, click here, paste the text and save. Now, if I open the chat again and change the voice to apple-like that I've just created, the text will sound totally different. That's a really cool feature, especially if you're trying to copy copy someone's Shopify page or just want all your pages to feel like one piece. And the second ace is the variety of ready-made prompts. All I have to do is pick a prompt, specify some parameters and receive a perfect result. Or if you just need great results but you can't find the prompt in the library, just type what you want and hit improve. Copy AI will analyze the prompt and make it better. Even I use this feature, it is so accurate and fast. And now you can already save time and money on photos and all text while making them more effective and pro looking. So win-win. 
There are tons of AI tools you can use to make your Shopify more profitable, but no app can come close to ChatGPT. Many businesses and entrepreneurs use ChatGPT for their Shopify stores, but they rarely succeed. Want to know why? Because their prompts are terrible. With ChatGPT, you really have to know exactly how to pose your inquiries to get high quality results. So that's why we've put together a pack of prompts that you can use. This pack has tons of ready-made prompts that you can simply copy and paste. All of these prompts are not just time savers. Each one is designed to maximize the effectiveness, minimize the time you spend on work, and improve earnings of your business. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. With these prompts, 10-minute actions will take mere seconds and your workflow will be fast and straightforward like an arrow. And now we have a huge discount, 50% the original price. So be sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Well, another part of having a Shopify store is managing the stock and items, especially if you sell from the comfort of your home. So the same example with the action figures. What if I want to wrap each box into a branded wrapper and add a thank you card? I will need to have a stockpile of boxes with figurines in my garage. But that's where the real problem is. How to manage all that effectively and automatically? That's where the Zapier comes in. Zapier allows me to automate many processes at my Shopify store. For example, keeping a list of all sales. To do that, I just have to add a new zap. Each zap consists of two parts, a trigger and action. A trigger is what causes the action to happen. To create a trigger, I first need to pick an app I want to connect through Zapier. In our case, it's Shopify. Next, pick an event that triggers the zap. It can be an abandoned cart, a new order, a new paid order, a new customer, and so on. Next step, connecting your Shopify account. In my main Zapier account, I already have everything set up, but I'm sure you'll figure out how to enter your email and password. After we've connected the Shopify to Zapier, we need to create an action. In my case, I want Zapier to scrap the data from Shopify and insert it into my table. Here I have a very basic table just to demonstrate, so I'll choose Sheets. Next, we have to pick the event we want to happen. It can be creating a new worksheet, spreadsheet, column, and so on. I will choose Create Spreadsheet Row, which should insert that data from Shopify into Sheets in corresponding columns. I will choose Create Spreadsheet Row, which should insert that data from Shopify into Sheets in corresponding columns. After that's done, I just link a Google account and quickly set up for which spreadsheet and page I want the action to happen. And once you're done, you can test it all out. That's one process I automated that made the store more profitable. The second one is the inventory hack. As the inventory runs out, I need to restock. But in Google Sheets, there is no way to create an alarm when the inventory is empty. So I use Zapier for that once again. I will create another Zap for that. The first app will be Sheets and trigger new or updated spreadsheets row. This way, every time the row updates, the information gets scraped from the file and sent to the second app. As usual, I choose a spreadsheet from earlier and pick a column that triggers the action. In my case, the spreadsheet has a special cell with if function that says yes when the restock is needed. So once that cell changes, the Zapier should create an event in my Google Calendar, which I check every hour or so. As you might have guessed, the second app is Google Calendar and the action is create a detailed event. Filling out details about the event is rather simple, except one, start and end time. If you don't know what to choose, click on the link and look at date and time formats supported by Zapier. I will just copy the first option. Once that's done, all that's left is test the Zap. I will change the cell from no to yes, and boom, here is an event in my calendar. It's as simple as that. There are tons of other automation options in Zapier, but these two had the most impact and really made my shop more efficient and profitable as a result. Shopify and AI are made for each other. Shopify makes selling stuff easy and AI makes managing and creating Shopify stores easy. Combine the two and you will be unstoppable. I hope your Shopify store grows with these tools and subscribe for more tips. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one.